Hey guys, in today's short and I are going to do our Brownlow medal prediction for season 2015. There's been plenty of stars playing this year, mate, and uh, some more players mounting in case for why they think they should take home Charlie. Yeah, certainly. So often it's sort of Gary Ablett and then Who often, but uh, he was out for much this year and, and it looked like Fife and then Who for a long time, but the second half brought a different story and mm, for it's sure. a tough pick now. Yeah, it really... It's down to probably five to six players, or probably maybe four, but that's sort of what we're here to talk about today, mate. Yeah, um, sure. Who's going to win it, and I guess who's your roughie? Sure, mate. I, I still think Nat Fife will win it. A yep. lot of people have kind of maybe jumped off the Nat Fife boat in that regard, but uh, I reckon he would have done enough in the first half of the year, or the first maybe 12, 13 rounds, which sounds funny, but I think we often remember the second half of the year you know, it's natural to focus more on what we've seen most recent than, you know, what happened back in round two. But Absolutely. I reckon he would have had a lot of three votes. Like, he was just in unbelievable form. I still feel he can win it. Um, and then maybe a top two or maybe other, another guy, Dangerfield. I think that'll be the main rival in amongst a few we'll probably talk about. Absolutely. And a roughie. Yeah, it's always tough. What is a roughie? I mean... I tend to float away from the guys who are in the top six, seven, eight, nine in the betting sort of thing. So I don't think David Mundy is there and abouts. And I reckon I look at Frio, top of the ladder, won so many games. So they'll get a lot of three and two and then maybe one votes. Definitely. Fife will get a lot of the threes potentially. But then who else? I mean, I, I feel like Mundy's had a great season. And Neil yeah, will so pop yeah. up at times. He'll get a few one voters. Yeah. yeah but I feel too. like Mundy will definitely be the second best poller for Fremantle and I think he might poll in the, the 20s but I don't think he'll win but yeah, it's a funny one, if you wanted it? to maybe look at a top 3 or a top 5 if they have that sort of betting mm. you might might look at that but, um, how about yourself mate? well I've gone with Paddy Dangerfield pal he's uh, risen to the occasion and Supercoach tells me he's doing really well this year <laughs> I thought he had a pretty average year last year and I think he's still got 23 votes and had he have gotten a few votes in the last game, or at least two or three. He probably would have won it over Prittis. So that says to me, and he's had a fantastic year this year. I reckon he's had his best season by far. And uh, going by that, I think he naturally goes better than he did last year and potentially get across the line. Gary Ablett had an amazing 15 rounds, 14 to 15 rounds uh, in 2014. Is that correct? I think so, yeah. Yep, yep. Well, 13 he won it, so would have been 14. And didn't quite get enough. Prittis overran him in the end. And Dangerfield nearly overran Prittis. Yeah. So I think uh, Dangerfield's in you know, a great sort of uh, a great chance to pile it home this, this year. And I've even got some financial gains to be made out of that <laughs> as well. Bit of money on Paddy. you biased, mate. This is meant to be unbiased commentary. <laughs> well, there you go, mate. I guess no, I'm biased. I'll take, I'll take your word for it. Uh... You reckon he's in the top two as well. Oh, so, yeah. so there you go. No bias here, guys. And uh, my roughy, uh, well, below Dangerfield, I have to say Fife, of course, which is obvious in saying that. But my roughy, I can't remember what I said. It was Sam Mitchell, that's right. Sam Mitchell, he's polled pretty well in the past. and he's Your is the fourth favourite? <laughs> no, definitely not the fourth favourite, mate. Come on, but what do you, do you reckon he is? I don't even know. He'll be up there, but no, nah, that's cool, bro. Yeah, I'd say Goldie comes into the conversation of that and maybe a couple others, Hanbury, but... Yeah, I think Sam Mitchell's just outside. I've had a bit of a recent look at how it's all going, just to see if Paddy's coming a bit more to <laughs> yeah. convince me. <laughs> but uh, Sammy Mitchell's been fantastic this season. And the thing with Hawthorne, though, and what, which what makes him a roughie, is that they've got so many good players and don't rely on one player to win the game for them. So in saying all that, he, you know, he, um, I reckon he's a chance to pile some twos and threes. But Luke Hodge... We'll get a lot. You know, Josh Gibson, I feel, might even chime in. Isaac Smith might get a few here and there. and get Gunston as well and Ruffhead and Cyril. So there's so many players that can you know bob up and sort of get that have that breakout game. And if one steps up or one doesn't, one, another one will kind of thing. Yeah. Lose a soldier, replace a soldier. Yeah, that's it. Uh, so, yeah, it's tough to see Hawthorne winning a Brownlow in that mould. And I guess that's what, what, what uh, makes him more rough here, I guess. Yeah, that's a fair call. You've gone for two pretty eye-catching players, which is what the umpires look for. Yeah, eye-catching is the, the big term, mate, eh? especially with Dangerfield. And um, mm. also Stevie J has done well in the past. He won't win it this year, but... Uh, yeah. They like the eye catchiness. Certainly, mate. And can anyone else win it? Can a Goldstein you mentioned, Prittis, Hanabry, uh, Gaff? Do you think they're 
a chance that we haven't really touched on too much? Absolutely. I think I think they can all win. I think anyone in the top four to six on the betting markets, as they say, is a, is a genuine chance. Although, if you want to put a bit of a category to it, you've got Dangerfield and Fife up here, mm. along with, uh, who did you mention? Well, it was you, Prittis, you said Fife, yeah. Fye and Dangerfield. Yeah. Um, I, I reckon Fife, Prittis, Danger all up here. Yeah. And then you've probably got your next tier with Goldie and uh, Hanabry, a few other guys as mm. well. Gaff might float around there as well. Yeah, Gaff's been fantastic this year. Yeah, and I, West Coast won a lot of games, and we haven't seen a lot of them. But No, that's it, yeah. And I find it tough to pick out a... Oh, Prittis, yeah. Pretty, I reckon Prittis will not pip him, but uh, mm. he'll he'll take away a lot of twos and threes. Not that that always means yeah. a lot. You don't, I know you don't really buy into that theory, but... Not really, but I, I suppose a lot of people have been saying that Prittis has had statistically a better season than last, so he's, you know, a, a, like some people locking him in for the Brownlow, but it's not all about the numbers. He'll be right up there no. again. Oh, yeah, but, yeah. Um, he'll be top, top four, top five. Yeah. Gar- nearly guaranteed, yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah, it'll be a good night, though, because... Who knows who could win, really, which has been different to a lot of yeah, other years the, we've had. The Brownlow is generally unpredictable. I mean, Joe Watson in 2012 was... Uh, oh, I guess he was the favourite going in, and he won. Um, yeah. 2013, I don't know if Gary was, but well, he got the job done convincingly in the end. And uh, I remember back in 2012, I went with Matty Boyd. Which oh, was Boyd. Boyd. He had a great year that year, obviously. I <laughs> picked him otherwise. Yeah. Had heaps of the pill, I think that's what I went for him. Most disposals, potentially. Yeah, that sounds about right. There's always a surprise packet, though. That's, that, that's the thing with the brown line. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you just never quite know. So. Richo, I think Simon Black polled really well when maybe some didn't expect him. 2008, him. yeah. Yeah, so. You never quite know, mate. The umpires just look at all areas, so there yeah. you go. But um, those are our predictions for the brown line, anyway. So feel free to put in who you think's going to win and a bit of a rough here and why you think that's going to be the case. We'd love to hear your feedback on that and what you think of our thoughts. They're pretty uh, stock standard, but <laughs> hey, it's, a, it's always a good talking point uh, around finals time and Brownlow time. So feel free to comment uh, your thoughts on it all. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it. Share it around to all your mates as well. It'd be fantastic. Well, it'd be even more fantastic if you click that subscribe button. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> you get plenty more updates from us, and um, that'd be terrific. Thanks for sticking around, guys, and we'll catch us all next time.